but we just ended up getting some leaks about zombies. We got gameplay leaks going around about Black Ops 6, and everybody's kind of bricked up. And Activision has once again begun dicking down the fans. And you want to know what the fans do? They let themselves go. Once again, everybody's excited. Sick is doing helicopters with their woolies. People are doing backflips while being on a wheelchair ride, and everybody's excited. I, I want to show you guys uh, a video as well. Like this video if you just want this game to be the best game ever. Dislike the video if you want BBC bundles. Dislike the video if you want to see skill-based management and all that. I want to know where you guys at. Like if you just want a good game, man. Uh, check this, roll it. Over the past couple days or so, YouTubers and different influencers have been playing Black Ops 6 early. This happens every uh -huh. single year yeah. with the reveal of a new Call of Duty game, so shouldn't shock you at- Yeah, all of those YouTubers are gonna come out and say that this is the best game ever, best game ever. I, I get it though, this is like Treyarch, and Treyarch is the last hope right now. Only Treyarch can save Call of Duty. This time it's like do or die something that we say every year, but do not trust these Call of Duty YouTubers. Don't trust these Call of Duty YouTubers. They're out there just sucking their- BBC bundles, dog. That's what they're doing over at Activision HQ, okay? That's what they are doing right now. This is gonna be the same damn thing that we hear every single year. They're gonna come out, say that this is the best game ever. Do not believe their lies, but wait for it. That's all, but according to rumors, it seems like they are going to be playing as well as showcasing a lot more than usual. Now, apparently, of course, some of the campaign's going to be somewhat open world, and they mm. will apparently be showing multiplayer as well. It seems like, according to the leaks, they might actually be showcasing some of this footage that the YouTubers have played, maybe even playing live, and they'll okay. be having developers developers as well playing through at least the campaign that we're going okay. to see at this event but apparently we're going to be seeing something about zombies as <laughs> well we're not sure exactly to the full extent but we'll be seeing something more than usual at this time of the year listen man i just want zombies being good and the craziest part here's that we're hearing the leaks are saying we're gonna be getting two maps okay one of them can be transit remastered listen I don't mind the transit remaster, but I want to see at least two new maps. What? Are, what is going on right now? And you want to know what? Like, I actually did this thing in the last video, right? Because we covered this news and I was like, hey, we should be getting more than two maps, just two maps. Because this thing is going to be, by the time the game comes out, it's going to be four years since they have been working on this game. And I got a comment from one of the viewer, and you want to know what he said? He said that we have always been getting two maps in Zombies, right? Even in Black Ops 1, we got two maps. Exactly my point! We have always been getting two maps! Even in Black Ops 1, that game came out a decade ago, damn it! We should be getting more than that. No wonder in Urdu I would like to say, "Yar pancho ya Activision ka janaza nikal jata hai, lekin ye chutiyon ko bas choose nahi hai. Yahi karna hai, pancho." Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Yo, a decade ago they had two maps. We're in 2024 right now. Four years, four damn years, and it's a billion-dollar company, and they're under three trillion dollars. Uh, publisher Microsoft, right? We should be getting more than two maps. And I got another comment, a viewer said that, uh, well, we're gonna be getting DLC, yeah, like, duh, yeah, we're gonna get DLC maps, but probably, like, you remember this most advanced Call of Duty game ever, Modern Warfare 2022? We got one new map after five months, guys, five months, so you wanna wait, five, I guess for zombies, it's, uh, realistically gonna be, like, what, like, uh, two or three months, uh, maybe even four months, oh, right? I mean, seriously, like, this game should get more maps, but maybe, maybe everybody is want, everybody want to settle for less content, maybe that's what it is. And now, apparently, because the game's going to be releasing in October, and apparently it's going to be having early access for zombies and potentially the other modes, potentially even being weeks early, everything, the expected dates that we would usually come to expect have been pushed forward. So things like when we're going to get the full-on zombies reveal, as well as when we're going to get the multiplayer beta, as well as a yeah. full-on multiplayer reveal if it ends up being separate, if they don't showcase yeah. pretty much almost oh everything at this event itself, that's all going to be pushed forward. I do want to say before I continue shaking. with the rest of the discussion, I first have a very interesting message to share with you and we'll be right back. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, Attention movie. Yeah, 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 can I get two pennies as well? Can a brother get two pennies as well? If you guys want to help me get two pennies, uh, definitely consider becoming a member. Uh, next, uh, you can become a member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Helps out a ton. Uh, shout out to all of you beautiful uh, members, beautiful bastards out there for being a member on the channel. Thank you all for sending me two pennies. Uh, Alright, let's get back to the content now, boo boo.
Now, I want to talk about zombies specifically because apparently YouTubers have also managed to play zombies early and I'm a little oh, bit crap. concerned about this because I'm not sure how much is actually going to be showcased at the event. Of course, we will have Maybe to wait and see, but we're going to be- They're probably gonna tease it a little bit and I think that would be good enough, but like, two maps only, guys? Two maps? Can we get more than two maps? And listen, man, I don't want to see zombies this time be butchered to the point where we have no pausing button because apparently these suckers are struggling with that. And could you imagine, like, this is going to sound absolutely wild and I'm sorry in advance to put you through this, but listen here, I hope we have a zombie screw. Bruh. I know it sounds brat-ish, but dog, do you really want to play? Okay, in multiplayer sounds alright, okay? Even in multiplayer doesn't sound alright, what am I even saying? But do you really want to play as the BBC Bundles uh, operators and zombies? Do you really want to play as Teletoby Bundles as operators and zombies? If the answer is no, like the video. If you really want to play as Teletoby skins in zombies. I guess dislike the video. I want to I wanna know where you at. Yeah. We're not getting a full-fledged reveal of zombies. It seems like we're going to be getting something smaller. But still, that's great because it's more than we usually would at this time of the year. And the zombies reveal will, of course, be later on. But the reason why I'm worried, well, not necessarily worried, but a little bit annoyed about this is because, like we saw with the Modern Warfare 3 zombies reveal, it was really weird because a bunch of YouTubers got to play zombies early, but then they didn't get to showcase the gameplay they actually played. Mm. And Treg just posted this pre-recorded footage that was really weird. I didn't really show showcase the mode in its yeah, best of life. Because they know it, it was garbage, because they knew that they were just gonna abandon it right after they drop it, and that's exactly what happened. You know, everybody was like, it's gonna be the best thing ever! This was abysmal. This was such a slap on the fans' face, especially the ones... I don't blame the new kids, okay? The new kids, if, if this was your first time playing zombies, yeah, okay, for, for that, I, I, I can understand, like, you don't have any reference point to compare this to, but... For people that played World at War Zombies, uh, Black Ops 1 Zombies, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, even, okay, to a certain degree, Black Ops 4 Zombies and even Sledgehammer My Balls, uh, World War 2 Zombies, right, which was one of the worst iteration of zombies, that also, you, you know, that was way better than whatever the, whatever crap we got in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now, the idea, I like the idea of the fact that, okay, you can play zombies on the entire war zone, I like the idea, so I'm not opposed to this idea. We can get round-based maps, dedicated maps, we can get Outbreak as well, I'm not opposed to the idea, we can get something new. I'm down for it, damn it, I'm down for it. But when this is the only mode, <laughs> and you get no updates, and then they abandon it, what the hell are we talking about? They literally dig down the fans, and the fans are like, hey, I want more, I want more of that. Daddy, can you please dig me down again? That's what the fans did with this one, exactly. Yo, Call of Duty fans, I'm sorry, listen, I'm a, I'm a Call of Duty fan as well. But, but like, generally speaking, the, the, the usual suspects, the usual Call of Duty fans are basically the ones that will settle for less content, that will be like, okay, give me whatever, two new maps, uh, not even new maps, uh, two remaster maps, yeah, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I'll pay you $70 gl gladly. This time, I get it, it's Treyarch, okay, and, uh... Trek is the last hope. I, I I agree. If this time it's bad, it's Joe over. But guess what? Sickers are gonna say, well, next year. If this time game turns out to be bad, Call of Duty fans will say, well, next year, Call of Duty 2025 will save us, you know? We're, we're definitely gonna see that. And then we just kind of heard the information that was word of mouth from the YouTubers who got to play early, and everyone was like, this is the best thing ever, yeah, you know? Exactly. And then the game released. Do not trust Call of Duty YouTubers, guys. Don't trust the YouTubers that are like, ah, e, it's the best game ever, top five. I mean, this like I said that Van Garbage was top five. Y you feel what I'm saying? Gameplay wise, okay, you know, they were better than Infinity Tart. I, I, I have to agree. Gameplay wise, Sledgehammer games is way better. They do listen to the fans somewhat, right? In in, in terms of, I mean, I, I feel like that any, any, any studio on planet Earth listens to their fans more than Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward is the most garbage ass developer team out there, dog. They used to be very good. They used to be very good, but, but, but they literally piss on their fans and they tell the fans, hey, don't look up. And if you look up, you're, of course, if you look up, you're going to find out that they're pissing on your head and that's exactly why they don't want you looking up. They said, we're going to listen to your feedback. And, and right after that, they said that, no, we can't. We can't do that. We can't do this. We cannot do that. Infinity Ward, the worst uh, gaming company out there. 
Treyarch is the best. Raven is good as well. Sledgehammer Man Balls is good. My guy, even Toys for Bob. It's not Toys for Bobby Kotick. They were not making Toys for Bobby Kotick. Guys, I, I don't know why some of you think that that's what they were doing. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not that, okay? But but even they are way better than Infinity Tard. I, I, I swear to God, man. The next Infinity Tard game, I think it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. Let's be Bruh. real. But it's if they don't change their ways, it, it's over. It's over. This is the... Next year, we're getting Black Ops 2 Remaster, Remake. Yeah, Remake, not Remaster. We're getting Black Ops 2 Remake next year. And this year, we're getting Treyarch Game. Yeah, I, I think these two years can be solid years if they do not destroy uh, the games. Otherwise, it's over. It's over, because after that, it's Infinity Tard. And after that, it's Sledgehammer Game, so I'm not even expecting any miracle from them either. But whatever they come out with, it's probably going to be better than Infinity Tard. <laughs> Let's be real. But, but what I'm saying is that... This year and next year, that's it, dog. For now, at least. If you want a good game, this is it. Uh, yeah, otherwise, it's over. At least, and you know, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is pretty mediocre, I think, and it ended up getting abandoned post-launch, unfortunately. Now, we've had similar things occur with previous Zombies as well, where YouTubers get to play early, but then we don't actually get to see everything they played, and then we just course, hear word yeah. of mouth. And the unfortunate thing about this is it creates bias, obviously. And don't get me wrong, I'm really excited for Black Ops 6 Zombies, and I really do think that this is going to be an amazing, amazing mode, literally not even based on any evidence, because we haven't seen any gameplay yet, apart from the there. small little I'm excited. No, but but I don't blame the guy. L listen, uh, somewhat like I'm also intrigued and curious and uh, Loki, I'm looking forward to it because god damn it, bro. Like, I grew up playing zombies. I grew up playing Call of Duty as well. I want to see this game be good. But it's like, do you really want to play as Teletoby Bundles as operators in this game? Do you really want to play as BBC Bundles? Listen, man, I'm a brown guy. O okay, I also have a BBC Bruh. of my own, okay? Like, damn, bro, like, I'm not opposed to the idea of BBC bundles, but, but like, bruh, like, do you really want to play as bundles in, in Call of Duty Zombies? We need to have a set crew of zombies. We need to have, a, a, like, like, actual good maps, bro. Like, what the hell is going on right now? What is going on? This, like, and my guy says that uh, he's excited for zombies despite seeing the gameplay. Okay, I right, fear that's everybody right now. Everybody's bricked up. We pretty much know nothing about the mode apart from leaks, but even then without knowing and without seeing gameplay and without seeing how it actually plays out I just think it's going to be a really good mode just on the premise that Trek have had four years to develop it And it's apparently been getting play tested for two years I think that alone should excite anyone that it's had such a rigorous development cycle But regardless of that I still this game better be the best game ever dog for two years These things have been play testing <laughs> Yo, uh, that, that gives me hope. And knowing it's Treyarch, okay, yeah, th there is a little bit of hope. I, I think this game either is gonna be a banger or, like, either go uh, go big or go home. I think that's what, it, what it's gonna be. Still, I'm kind of against the idea of YouTubers playing it early, but then we don't see everything they played, and then they give a rundown of their thoughts from their experience playing it, because, like I said, it creates bias, and it creates this kind of weird atmosphere where we kind of just have to take their word for it, and yeah, obviously, uh, when they go do. to these events, they're going to have a warped perception of what it was like, even if they're not outright lying to you facts. when they say it's amazing. Facts, facts, because, like, Activision is gonna pay for their hotel, for their flight ride, they're gonna be able to go out around the town and see how it's like uh the activision is gonna take care of their food supply as well they're gonna get them uh, they're gonna get them hooked on all that sugar all, all the snacks and all that of course uh, and they're gonna see the game and play the game before everybody else so they're gonna be fire naturally they're gonna be firing dopamine and once they fire dopamine it's over it's game over once they see the bundles in the game for free and they can play with all the bundles for free in the game yeah, of course they're gonna fire dopamine, of course. And that's it, that's it. Yeah, so th that's gonna create biasness. This is what I'm saying. Do not trust the Call of Duty YouTubers. Like the video if you don't trust the Call of Duty YouTubers. Dislike the video if you trust them with your wife as well. Y yeah. Bruh. I, I mean, holy crap. I, I, okay, you, you have like... You have a lot of trust. Okay, I, I see that. Okay, I, I gotta commend you for that. Oh shit, yeah. 
teasing and whatnot, whatever marketing things they say, just on the premise that they're having fun at an exclusive event with a bunch of friends and getting to meet and talk to developers, it creates this buzz, it creates this excitement that might make them feel like the mode is better than it actually is when they get to sit down and play it at home. And there's nothing inherently wrong about that, it's an inherent bias that is created that, you know, even if they're not outright exaggerating their opinions, they might be doing it accidentally. And accidentally, like I said, yeah. that's why we need to see the gameplay itself that they are playing. Now, yeah, I guess two maps. I hope there's a pausing button and I hope there's a zombie screw. That's it. That's all what I want, bro. And we have like leaks about the multiplayer as well. Uh, check out this video on the screen. I'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not. Check this video out. On the left, apparently Activision have banned these folks as well from their events and all that. Yeah, it's wild out here. It really is wild out here. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.